Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep um, Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes And, 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 um, yeah, check out the website. Every single recording is on there. And maybe you'd like to leave a testimonial. Just, you know, click on testimonial and write down what you think of this podcast and that's it and if you'd like to send me a gift then yay there's a a gift me page there as well so what I'm going to do today is go have a quick drink see what I like to do I like to do different things I don't mean in life. I mean in these "Let Me Bore You to Sleep" recordings, because I've done a lot of them. Two hundred and I don't know, twenty something. Sometimes I'll talk about the past. Sometimes I'll talk about what I've done that day. Sometimes I will talk about. Um, maybe plans for the future other times I will read out stuff from some books that I've collected specifically just for this podcast and other times I'll read articles and look through a magazine that I buy just for this podcast And today is going to be one of those days. And I've just bought Closer. It's a magazine that I don't think I've read out of before. And it's issue 872. For the 5th to 11th of October 2019. Cost me £1.85. In the Canary Islands, it costs three, I think that's three euros twenty. In Spain, it's two euros ninety five. In Greece, it's three euros thirty. Now that don't make sense, because euro is the same. Why would it be different? Well, if it's Canary Islands, that's not in Europe. Oh no, it is, isn't it? Spain and Greece, it's all Europe. If it's the Euro, I'd have thought it would be the same price. Always said that, didn't I? I don't really... I'll say it one more time. I thought it would be the same price wherever you was in Europe. Clearly not. I suppose Greece, Spain and the Canary Islands are popular holiday destinations for English persons. So I imagine, you know, when you go on holiday, you're going to want to buy the magazine, aren't you? It's something that you'd, I imagine you'd really miss. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. when I got home I had a little look at the front cover and I put it on the table and then I went into the kitchen and I really missed it I really felt a a degree of loss uh, some kind of attachment issues with the magazine so I came back in and I, I cuddled it and I feel better now 
so it's called Closer and it's kind of I don't know what's the best way to describe it it's kind of like a gossip magazine really about celebrities and stuff Uh, and again I think it's got a more I think it's it's aiming for um, it's got it's readership I'm trying to be careful how I of course I'm included in that aren't I today so I don't I don't normally read these kinds of magazines unless I'm waiting at the dentist so on the front cover of the top real life I spent £80,000 to look like a sexy blow up doll ok uh, 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 ok I'll, I'll come to that Fear for Fern over New Romance. Hasn't grabbed my attention yet. Rebecca, I won't let trolls spoil my pregnancy. Okay, still. Ah, there is a 15 page TV guide inside. Which is handy, so I can use that for. Because what I really find useful with a television guide is. When I want to know what's on television, I pick the TV guide up and I'll go to the day, the date that I'm, you know, that I'm living in. If it's, for example, it's the fourth of uh, October two thousand and nineteen, so I go to that day, and then I look at the time, or well, the time is now, and it's twenty-four minutes past midnight. And I'll just go down and I'll look through the listings for that kind of time to see what's on. It's a good way to find out what's on telly. So I'm just turning it over. Shall I tell you what else? Sheryl's Fury over at Liam's Bombshell. She looks... doesn't look furious. Plus, her ex finally opens up about Rita. It didn't do much for my personal life. Oh. And in the middle, it's payback time. Well, it's payback. Lauren's night with Jordan's ex. The truth. Oh. And on the back cover... Shop now, pay later. This season's must-have toys. Very. And that's the... It's actually a really good company. It's a good website, very.co.uk. I don't know if it's a very.com. But what I didn't realise is they are affiliated to Littlewoods. In fact, I think they are possibly Littlewoods rebranded and that's what I'm thinking because I ordered a shed and a shed for my uh, bedroom <laughs> and it I got a text saying it's been ordered from Littlewoods. Huh? I didn't order it from Littlewoods. Oh, Glenn Medeiros. Remember that? Never gonna pay my love for you. I do, 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 do. How much I love you. That's uh, on top of the pops right now. I don't know if my glasses will let me actually see the screen. Yeah, well, I can see the screen, I just can't see the images. Now I can. Oh. Let's 
Glimmerdiros. Almost sounds like a drink, doesn't it? I want a Glimmerdiros. No, I'll just have a shandy. I'll have a Glimmerdiros. No, you're only nine. Oh, okay then. So, welcome to Closer. That's the inside bit. So I've got to take my glasses off again. Um, inside this issue, on the cover, Lauren's anger at Chris uses her to make Gerald jealous. Cheryl tells Liam, don't, don't peer at me as the bad guy. Liam, my duet with Rita didn't do much for my personal life. Page 16, Fern warned against rushing into new romance with Jordan. Page 34, real life blow up doll. My designer vagina nearly killed me, but I can't wait to have more surgery. There's something about learning, isn't there? There's <laughs> something about learning. Mm. I had this cosmetic surgery that nearly, I lost my life nearly. I bet I'll continue doing it. Yeah, yeah. Rebecca, I've been body shamed through my pregnancy. And I knew someone years ago and he, he was grumpy. This is a long time ago, like 2005 or whatever. And he was grumpy because his girlfriend was pregnant and she didn't have the same body anymore. I tried to say, she probably has got the same body, it's just different shape. He said, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know she hasn't got a different body. I said, you said that she's got a different body. Yeah, but I was talking about the shape, innit? Talking about the shape. And he was really unhappy because his baby was growing and making her tummy bigger. I mean, what did he expect? Expected to grow out of her back. I, Ryland. I'm trying to find something. Age defined stars at 50. 32. Let's go to that one. Just have interest because I'm nearly there, and I. Age defying stars at 50, so who have we got? Oh, they've got before and after pictures, that's useful. Um, so they've got J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez. And I They all look young, they all look older. But we're supposed to look older. It's kind of, mind you, Jennifer Aniston facially seems to look, looks different to how she did in Friends. Was it the Jennifer Aniston hairstyle that everyone went, loopy about in the 90s was it the 90s or was it the 2000s friends was in no it was the 90s wasn't it I can't believe how long ago it was it was so the 90s I think it was, an, or was it 2000s? 2000, no, it was the 90s. I don't know. So they've got three people. They've got uh, Jennifer Lopez. They've got Gwen, Stephanie, and Jennifer Aniston. 
and so and they were all 50 apparently and my question would be what's wrong with what's wrong with ageing you know we all age it's just normal isn't it I know they haven't got Madonna on there. That's probably because she's 90. I used to really like Madonna. And I mean, really, really like Madonna. And I used to be so... I was so pretentious when it came to Madonna because... She used to get so much flack for the costumes she wore and the videos she made in the 80s. And even in the 90s as well. But she'd, you know, I used to say to people, I used to argue, I used to say, listen, when I'm, when I'm listening to Madonna, her music, her album, I'm not looking at the picture of the, of the, the album. And the responses I got sometimes, some people say, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. And another person say, so have you decided to what loaf of bread you're going to have? You know, you've got that, you know, there's only three left. It's like, okay, we'll decide or get out of the bakers. We've got other customers to deal with. Because I was asking, I was t- talking to a baker for no real reason, really. It's kind of a weird situation. That's why I mentioned that. The thing is, I was looking at the cover <laughs> of the album. Ah, oh, the True Blue cover. Man, I watched that True Blue, I think it was Papa Don't Preach video. Probably six million times. So guaranteed because a lot of videos on YouTube they get really big views don't they like millions billions whatever if YouTube had been around when Madonna was around because that's the thing I don't it's a harder thing it's hard for any of us to realise I suppose what came before it is hard for even my generation are really to get an idea of just how big the Beatles and Elvis was. I get an idea of it, but just how massive they were. How, you know. And people born, people that are now in their teens, won't, I don't think they'll be able to get their idea, their head around how big Madonna was in those days, in the early 80s. What was it, 84, 83, 84, 85 onwards? If that Papa Don't Preach video was on YouTube, YouTube would have, it would have just collapsed. It wouldn't have been able to handle that. I mean, that'd be the biggest watched video, mainly by teenage boys, probably, and me. But I was a teenage boy at the time. But I had on a video recorder, and so I had on a video tape, and I recorded it off top of the pops. And I'd watch it when there was no one else in the flat because that was a time when I was sleeping. It was my stepmom's mother's flat that we were living in and I was 16. And I was sleeping on the floor, like on a camper bed thing uh, in the living room. And my stepmom was in one room with my little brother. He was eight. And in the 
other one, the other one, her, her mum, <laughs> the other one, her mum was in her bedroom. And when there was no one around, I'd put on the, the video of Papa Don't Preach. watched it too many times and to this day to this day my because it was my step grandmother's flat I remember years later her still just couldn't get her head around how the television melted how how, how can the television just melt but overactivity. Madonna's got a lot to answer for. That's about all the skin grafts. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I really, really like Madonna. I liked her albums. I liked the, was it 1989, Like a Prayer. After that, wasn't bothered with her anymore. It's really weird. So I liked her first four albums in the 80s. And as soon as Light Our Prayer finished, it's one of my favourite albums of all time, ever. And I didn't, I still listened to it, I still heard it on the radio. And she still had loads of hits all the way into. Well, she'll, she'll still be going, won't she? Probably. 3044, she'll still be there. Probably has stilts for legs, but she'll still be around. And I remember once I had this girlfriend. And I well, like what I'm doing now, I'm talking, but I've got the television on, on silent. But back then, Unlike now, it's a bit foggy, like the screen isn't clear. But back then, I could see without glasses. I'll be going back to 2006. Uh, and it was around, I don't know, October time. And she'd phone me up wanting to talk. So eventually I had to answer the phone. And I was watching Bo Selector. It's a comedy sketch like show, and the bloke that does it, he was he was dressed up as Madonna in a leotard, and he was that was when she was going through that period of um, super yoga body kind of, and he was and he was just and he doesn't have he doesn't have a yoga body, so he's dressed in this leotard, dressed as Madonna. And doing all these sort of weird movements. And my girlfriend was trying to have a serious conversation with me. And unfortunately, there's no way of putting it on pause. I, want, I wanted, it's not her, I mean, that's what I mean. I wanted to sort of put her on mute so I could laugh. But you know, it's. Uh, very funny it's, I don't like being interrupted when I'm watching stuff I like to just watch stuff you know <laughs> so selfish in my old age my nan always used to say to me um, what's it you family's more important than television now, I love my nan a lot I really had you know but she was wrong television is more important when a program's on when a program's finished fine I'll make a little bit of room for, te for family and stuff but what's the point in watching a game show or a film for an hour and a half and in the last five minutes someone knocks on the door rings the phone 
you miss the last five minutes of the film. It happened to me recently. A neighbour's friend knocked on my door. Ten minutes near the end of the film that I was watching. And it was Red 2. I'd just seen Red, the first one. I loved it. And Red 2 happened to be on as well. About two weeks later. So I was all actually looking forward to watching it. I don't look forward to much. So it's kind of... Yay. So I'm enjoying it. And then suddenly, bang, knock on the door. Bang, 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 bang. And all the... All that silliness. And I missed the end of the film. Now, I enjoyed the film. So far, as what I'd seen. But I ain't prepared to sit through the whole thing again. Just to listen and watch the end. I don't like watching films more than once. Because unfortunately my memory just tells me everything that's going to happen. If I've seen a film once, that's it, it sticks. And I can't even tell you, you could name a film and I couldn't tell you anything about the film. Possibly. But as soon as it starts playing, as soon as the, the, you know, the video starts, the, you know, the film starts, it all just comes flooding back. And I can just, then I'm bored. I like, oh, don't want to watch it again. It's a bit like a relationship. <laughs> Very samey. And so J Lo, she says, I ditched alcohol and caffeine. Thing is. Regardless of what she does in her life, you've got to have that one regret. Because she could be married to Batman. But she's not, though, is she? Could have been married to Batman, J Lo. Gwen, I work out like a man. So that's the thing about Steph Nguani, Stefani, Gwen, is I just figured that she was really old. Not because she looks old, but because she's been around forever. I mean, I remember her, it's got to be in the 70s she was around singing. Was she in... Oh no, it's No Doubt. I thought she was in Four Non Blondes. No Doubt. No Doubt. I don't even remember one song she sung. The star who turns 50 this week said, I'm not into yoga or Pilates. I'm more like a man. I like lifting weights and doing a little boxing. See, that upsets me, that does. It's very sexist. It's a very sexist comment. I'm, 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 I'm finding it hard to speak very oh the mum of three added there's no secret to getting my body well no you were just born weren't you that's how you got your body you just have to eat healthy work out and torture yourself she, <laughs> she also sticks to a mainly vegan diet and has kept her skin line free by avoiding the sun since she was in her 20s and wearing a daily SPF moisturiser. She's known for being very pale though, isn't she? Old Stefan Gustari. She's very, quite a pale person. Jennifer um, Aniston. I love lasers and facials. Okay, oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, face massages. The key to Jennifer Aniston's toned vigor is working out with a personal trainer four times a week, plus 20 minutes of yoga every day. She recently said 
mostly my body feels better at 50. Hmm. The actress boosts her gym results with a strict gluten-free, low-carb and high-protein diet. Despite her smooth complexion, Jen famously shuns Botox, saying in 2014, I am blah, 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 never to using that stuff. It's all about hydration and things like LED light therapy, good lasers to tighten the muscles and massages for your face. And don't forget great creams, she said. See, this I don't get. This is the um, um, the lady called Mary that's trying to look like a, a life blow up doll, and the weird thing is. She looked really nice before. That's what's... Obviously, she didn't feel it. And... Wow. See, I want to make fun, but the fact that I would say is... There's clearly something going on in her mind that's not kind of working properly if she thought that she looked if she didn't like the way she looked before so it kind of yeah good for her let her do what she wants to do it's no one else's business really is it but she does want to be in the papers and she wants to I suppose if it's From one angle, she her face, she almost looks like she wants to be like, what's her name? Who's that rapper? The lady rapper. The lady one, not Snoop Dogg. The, um, not Eminem. Oh, I forgot her name. Uh, she did... St- Starfish, not starfish. Starship. And my anaconda won't lie. Whatever, anaconda. She looks like her when... Yeah. It's a gal porter. Let's have a look at guest. She's a celeb guest. Every week we bring you a brilliant guest columnist. Gail Porter is the person here. She's TV presenter, 48, shares her opinions and her life. Now I follow Gail Porter on Twitter and I know a bit about her. So I read her book and I... She was diagnosed with bipolar a long time ago and she also had alopecia so she went bald and she was also on Big Brother a couple of years ago and yeah so but I read her book it was really interesting and she used to be so perky like full of energy doing TV programs when she was well, when I was in my 20s so I'm probably well I'm, I'm 49 she's 48 so yeah kind of same age really it says here my typical day oh it is funny yes it's 
I'm up in the morning at 3 a.m. I have insomnia, so I'm usually wide awake in the middle of the night. I start tweeting my insomnia crew, a group of friends on Twitter, who also suffer with me and everything like that. Now, our follower, I actually posted letting her know that I make sleep sessions. And one of her Twitter friends commented saying, I can't be much good if I'm awake at four o'clock in the morning. Which seemed to make sense to him. I'm not awake because I can't sleep. I'm awake because that's the time I make my recordings. I have, I have no problem sleeping. If anything, I'll probably sleep too much. I have had problems in the past, but not, not these days. I mean, come when you think about it. If you, you you know, you listen to my voice and it's boring enough for you to go to sleep. Imagine what it'd be like, twenty-four hours a day. I've got this voice in my head, twenty-four hours a day. I'm practically walking around asleep. Okay, so this is her day. I'll then play a fitness DVD of some sort to get me ready for the day. I love the Tracy Anderson one. So this is what be really cool. If she did like my stuff, or she listened to it and liked it, and she went and wrote this, oh, I'll listen to this weirdo called Jason Newland. I'd suddenly get thousands and thousands of people that like instantly, they might not, whether they stay or not, I don't know, but they'll be listening. So any celebrities out there listening, please mention me. Only if you like me, of course. Only if you love me. My days will be filled with different jobs, like voiceovers and meetings, and I'll be writing my book too, which I've just finished. I'll have a picky lunch, a bit of whatever is left in the fridge. I also like to make sure I get out and about in the fresh air, as it always makes me feel better. So I'll have an afternoon walk at some point. My daughter Honey, 17, she's got 17 daughters called Honey, with ex-husband Dan Hipgrave, is at Colleg. So when she gets home, she'll have homework to do. I sometimes try to help her, but it's all maths and so difficult. We'll watch TV in the evenings and she'll make a stir fry as I'm a rubbish cook. Or we'll get a takeaway. I'll go on Tinder if I'm feeling brave, or sometimes go out with friends. But it's always to gay bars, so I never meet anyone. I'll usually be in bed around 11pm. I can't believe she's single. Just, uh, I don't know, I just, I just figure being famous would be, maybe that's very shallow of me, but I just thought sh famous people would I wish I wouldn't have to work quite so hard. I don't know. Huh. For me, uh, okay. My friend Frank Bruno was on Loose Women last week talking about his mental health journey. I've done a few events with Frank and he is an absolute hero. He said that he took medication for his bipolar disorder but it didn't work for him and actually exasperated the issue. I'm the same. Antidepressants didn't make me feel any better. Instead, I find exercise is more effective and I think it works best for me, especially running. Frank also said that he thinks there needs to be better mental health services in the UK and I agree. The problem isn't going to get any better unless there's action to be to improve it. 
Let's see, Frank Bruno is... He's a boxing hero in England. Um, also, he's got his own mental health charity that he started recently. I follow him on YouTube, not enough on YouTube, on uh, Twitter. I think he's just opened a gym, or he's just about to open a boxing gym. And he did a post on there saying, where's a good place to open it? Because he lives in Essex. And I said, can you open it in my town, please? But he didn't get back to me. Let's have a look. Whatever. Don't paint me as the bad guy. So Liam Payne and Cheryl, whatever her surname is this week, is they have they got a son and they called it Bear. 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 I can understand Bear as a, like a, a nickname, but not as a real name, like Bear. I mean, just, what's, should we call him Cow? No. What about Duck? I suppose parts of Midlands you could get away with that. Albatross? No, that's just silly. What? What about Bear? Oh, that's sensible, yeah. Let's call him Bear. Do right there. My duet with Ruta didn't do much for my personal life. So read it I just I'll fall asleep so we're now at page 12 how has Megan won back the public's affection I think the papers and the magazines and everyone pretty much should be surprised at how little interest anyone really has It's not something I'm pretty sure that Princess Meghan, or whatever her name is, is not at the forefront of most people's minds. I mean, the newspapers seem to want people to be interested and gossiping and stuff. Just leave them alone. Let them be happy. Yo, 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 yo. Fern warned not to rush things with Jordan. That's boring. Kim tells Kanye, I feel trapped. After being humiliated at the MIs, it's more bad news for Kim Kardashian. Cardi, Cardigan, Ashton, as tensions surface with husband, Kenny, 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 that's not a real name, is it? That's a made up name. Kanye, that's not a real name. What's wrong with Paul or Steve? <laughs> Kanye, I wonder if that's his real name. Kanye West over plans for their family and future. Kim Kardashian reported, uh, oh, they lose, moved to Wyoming. Her husband, Kanye, uh, purchased a sprawling 11.2 million ranch there for his family to live in. Not just a ranch, but a sprawling ranch. Sprawling. 
almost sounds like it's falling down, stretching itself. Kim's now 38. Wow. Just skimming through it and I can't see anything of interest. So I'll skip through that. Well, it's an article about teachers. I've lost 7,000 a year in salary, but I could never be a full time teacher again. I was, yeah, I never fancy the idea of being a teacher. Not after what I put through, I put my teachers through. I just, I, just, I was annoying. I was a right little brat I was when I was at school. Let's just have a look. My strictly family helped me through my. Uh, Oh look, you can get closer on your digital device. Immediate, accessible, convenient. Download in seconds. Read offline anytime. Easy back issue access. Subscribe today at www.greatmagazines.co.uk Best deal ever. Oh look at her. I hear mum in the that, that um, advert, yes. Uh, uh, wow, wow, no, it's just well, I'm gonna skip that. Mel B, the Spice Girls will do my new show for a laugh. Uh, okay, so that's that. even know I mean if this was in a dentist office I don't know if it would really keep me I don't know I think if I was reading this in a dentist office I'd almost be looking forward to the receptionist calling my name to go in and be drilled just <laughs> just to get away from the magazine maybe that's why they put them on there maybe they put these such awful magazines so, <laughs> so that people just look forward to the medical procedure afterwards Furious Ashton hits back at Nemi's threesome claims Ba ba ba! I feel like myself again. Jessica Simpson reveals a dramatically slimmer figure just months after giving birth. Well, most people do that, don't they? once you're given birth there's weight loss isn't there generally unless of course I'm wrong and that's never happened before I don't mean the weight loss I mean me being wrong I've never before oh, has this ever happened don't be afraid to rush in if you know it's right Alex and Olivia's romance rules. 
while Love Island relationships are notoriously fleeting, 2016 series contestants Alex and Olivia Bowen have just celebrated their one year wedding anniversary. Here they give closer and other islanders their tips for lasting happiness. So here's the one. Stay humble and stay grounded. The next tip is be best friends as well as lovers. Third tip, try not to get distracted by attention from others. And the next one, trust your instincts. The next one is accept when it's not meant to be. And lastly, refrain from talking about your sex life. I don't understand what that means. What's sex life? How? What? Emma Winner Phoebe. It's a beautiful way to say bye to Fleabag. After scooping three gongs at the recent Emmys and becoming the toast of Tinseltown, Phoebe Waller Bridge opens up about her writing inspiration and Hollywood success. Because you're not making any more. I really liked it. How dare she? How dare she win three Emmys and for a TV program, a comedy, and then not make any more? How dare she? That's ridiculous. I've never been so angry. Oh, God, talking point. Here's this one. Would you refuse to date someone who's teetotal? I had that once. I was... Decided not to drink for a year in 2004. I don't mean liquid, because I'd just turn into a prune, wouldn't I? I mean, uh, you know, alcohol beverages and there was medical reasons for it and I stopped I chose to stop and I had a a date it was a blind date in it was either the January or the February 2004 and I met this lady and she was already drunk by the time I got there I think to the pub which is you know, pretty good for me I suppose but she couldn't get her head around why I wasn't drinking Yeah, that's the whole story, really. Well, that was boring, wasn't it? Wow, that was even more. That wasn't even supposed to be boring, but it was. Asda, they've got a roll rollback. Thousands more in stock and online. 
got a lot of um, cheap stuff. That's good. Life and style. I've got stretch marks, stretch marks, and cellulite, but I'm embracing it. Yeah, good for you. Stretch marks somewhere, haven't they? Mine's on me, willy. So, magic wands, these game changing mascaras promise to leave you with flutter worthy lashes. It's basically just one big bunch of adverts. sees checkup. Dr. Christian gives his take on the hot health topics of the week. Uh. <laughs> it's advertising a strong deodorant for problem sweating. Our tester found <laughs> that it works. It's, it's stung a bit at first, but skin adapted quickly, and you only need to use it every three days. What? And you buy it from a, a web. It's a, a website called SweatHelp.co.uk. Oh, he's saying that a cup of tea boosts brain power. Routinely having green or black tea makes your brain healthier and more youthful. It turns out that regular tea drinkers have better orga uh, organized brains, which protects against blah, whatever. Cool. Oh look, there's a puzzles. The big crossword. Code crack. Guess the film still. I don't know what it is. But I don't like puzzles. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I just don't. I used to like playing word search. But all these like crosswords and Sudoku. I was in a pub. I think it was 2008. And someone, another drunk person, was sitting at the bar trying to teach me how to play Sudoku. And I couldn't. I couldn't. Just didn't make sense. Oh, spot the difference. I'm pretty good with that. thing is whenever I see a spot of difference like two pictures just two words always come into my mind who cares so I don't bother oh country hits radio it's really weird because country hits Country music is absolutely huge in America. And for those that love it, it's huge in this country as well. Uh, 
but I don't know any of the new singers, any of the like the the current country and western singers. And I got this picture with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know if they're DJs or if they're singers, but they kind of squashed them onto the page. But there's a girl on the right hand side and they clearly needed to squash her in. So they've, they've squashed her body. So her body just is really, really little, really, yet yeah, they left the head the same size. A bit of Photoshop in there. I would say. Coronation Street, no. Hollyoaks, no. No. Top TV, 20 TV picks, okay, so what's it got there? Celebrity Juice, don't really watch that. Catch uh, some boat, that yeah, looks like it might be interesting. Pants on fire. Uh, I feel one of the problems I, I find with television is there's so much to choose from now especially with the internet channels you know oh I watched a good film today um, but I can't remember what it's called but it's got Steve Carell So you should be able to find it. It's he plays. Oh, what is it? Yeah, I guess it would have been last year or the year before that it was made, because I watched it on Sky Movies, or well, now TV Movies. So it must at least last year. It wouldn't have been this year. But Steve Carell, you know, from The Office and The 40 Year Old Virgin, and he plays, uh, he makes these, um, a movie out of, well, I don't want to spoil it really, it's just a really, really good film. And it's, it's not Mark Zuckerberg that directs it. I'm pretty sure it's the same bloke that did. Semenberg or. Something like that. It's, but it's really good. I'm not giving you a lot of information, am I? But it's really good. It's, it's basically. Yeah, that's all I can think of. I can't, I haven't got the the laptop open, so I can't really search. I can't use the phone, because I'm using the phone right now. What else is on telly? Plebs. If you've never seen Plebs, I do recommend that. Recommend it? I recommend Plebs. It is funny. Um, no, there's nothing else that I can see that I want to watch or that they're recommending. Saturday night. Hmm. No. no there's nothing much on. So it's just a TV guide now. Oh, there's a picture of Emilia. Oh. 
I didn't mean it in a, a weird way, but it's Amelia from Game of Thrones. The old uh, Ice Queen. And she's got a massive pair of um, shoes. Got really high, high heels. From the looks of it, the heels themselves are as long as her feet are. That's a that's a long heel. She looks so different with uh, dark hair. Because in Game of Thrones, she's got my well, blonde hair, obviously. But but then you might not know because you might not have watched it. She just looks so different. It's all, and you wouldn't think a hair change, the colour of a hair, would change the way someone's face looks. But it seems to do with her. Maybe I'll dye my hair blonde. Or blue. Yeah, I could dye my hair blue. What about a blue Mohican? Yeah, a blue Mohican. Oh, yeah. No. So I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. And remember, go out and buy this <laughs> this magazine. Closer, it's called. It's uh, so this episode cost me one pound eighty five to produce. <laughs> so thank you for listening, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Take care. And remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. And my laptop's making some weird noises now for some reason. <laughs>